we're going to add some more of these sprite arrow objects. If you open up your activity sprite sheet 001 underscore layout dot Java file, at the top we've added a sprite arrow object and named it sprite arrow one. I'm gonna add another five, so we've got six in total. And down here where we've defined the speed and the direction and the size and the frame speeds, I'm gonna put in a few more. So we've gone wild here. We've got uh, some that are twice as large. We've got some that are 200 density pixels large. Some are going around the borders. Uh, can't wait. Well, you've seen what it does, but uh, this is how you activate it. So we've created this new sprite arrow and we've given it all these values. The next steps are the updates and the um, the draws. So we have to find our update, not the big update. We'll minimize that. The small update. Let's just tidy this up. So now we're passing in the delta t uh, in seconds to all of these different objects. And once each object has updated its physics, we need to display the physics. So we'll look down at the draw, and just underneath our sprite arrow one, we'll paste the rest of them. And it's that easy to add object after object. So if we hit save and run, something interesting should happen. Here's our app, and if we go into our sprite sheet activity, here's the full animation. There's one thing I'd like to point out to you. Keep a look at this large one that's going around the border. Look what happens when it hits the bottom. It's partly hidden. Well, that's because this black uh, menu status bar height is in the way. And it's a bit of a surprise. And I'll show you how to deal with that in the next tutorial. We're going to be revisiting screen width and height measurements and it's a quick fix but uh, as far as sprite animation goes you're ready to go off and do your own thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial